Welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. Today we're going to restore, or I guess you could call it a resto mod, a Hot Wheels Whip Creamer. Now this car was produced in 1971, and it was produced both in Hong Kong and in the United States. Now the United States version would come with a clear windshield, and the Hong Kong version would come with a blue windshield. The uh, cars came with a couple different interiors. In the U.S. you could get it in black or in white. In Hong Kong you could get it in brown or in white. If you happen to come across a white interior, it's a little bit more rare than the others, so that's definitely a good find if you happen to find it. The uh, little turbine in the back, if you blow on the back, the little turbine spins. I guess it was kind of cool, but hey, other than that it suits no purpose. Let's get started. I've already drilled out the post, so let's go ahead and take the car apart. The body is in good shape. I mean, there's not a lot of damage to it, but it's definitely got a lot of paint missing, so we're going to have to repaint it. The base is in excellent shape. The suspension's in good shape. The wheels are in pretty good shape, but we're going to go ahead and replace those cap-style wheels anyways. Maybe even buff up the base a little bit. Interior. The uh, bottom is cracked, but we don't have another one, so we're going to have to do the best we can. And the metal piece that holds the turbine, that's uh, in good shape, and the turbine's in good shape, so we're good to go there. Good deal. Windshield scratched up, so we're going to try and polish that up and clean it up and make it look good again. Here we've got the body. We're going to put that in the embalming fluid, a.k.a. citrus strip, and we'll let that sit for a while. Now we're going to polish up the glass. I got some Meguiar's plastic polish, but first we're going to sand it down with some fine sandpaper. I believe this is 1,000 grit. We'll just smooth that on down and try and get rid of as many scratches as possible. That's actually turning out pretty good. Nice. Now let's polish it up with the Meguiar's plastic polish. Now this polish is pretty good. I've used it on several occasions. And there's plenty of other brands out there too. So whatever works for you is good. Put a little bit on a cloth and buff it on down and rub it down. Just do the best you can. Now I've used little buffing wheels and stuff like that, and some people do, but I haven't really had a lot of luck with the buffing wheels, but uh, hey, maybe you will. Just keep rubbing it back and forth and keep checking it. Seems to be turning out okay. That's uh, coming along. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell to be alerted to any future videos that come out. It's looking better. Let's go ahead and move on. Now since we're going to be using the Spectre Flame paint, we're going to go ahead and polish up the body. A little bit of foots polish on there I'm using my Dremel. I'm going to go ahead and buff it out. Just take your time. Keep moving. You don't want to burn the finish. And the polish works almost immediately. If your body is in good shape, then uh, it should almost immediately start to show a really nice finish. Now you may have to apply more than one session of the cream and the buffing to it to get it to look the way you want. And if there's a bunch of little fine scratches and stuff in it, you may have to get in there with some super fine sandpaper and smooth it out. That's starting to look nice. Let's go ahead and move on. A little later. 
Now we've got the base. We need to do a wheel swap. Now these cap wheels are in pretty good shape. I'm just going to go ahead and save them. We're going to switch them out with some brand new ones. Using your razor, fob it over to the very edge of the cap tire. Use your razor, dig into the tire, and then give it a small twist. That'll pop right off just like that. Do that to all four. Follow it over with your razor. There you go, follow it over, push it in, give it a twist. Nice. I got these wheels at the Red Line shop. Now you can uh, get a lot of good stuff there at the Red Line shop to uh, restore your old Red Lines. But some of the stuff they have can be used on the newer Red Lines too, especially those great Spectre Flame paints. Those things are fantastic. Okay, the wheels are done. Let's go ahead and move on. Now it's time to paint. We're going to go ahead and we're going to change the color of this and we're going to paint the front end of this car ice blue. Very, very lightly put some tack coats on there. Make sure you get the underside and the fender wells. Man, that's a really pretty color. Just a little, little tiny light blue there. That looks fantastic. That's looking really sweet. Notice how I'm not getting the back of the car because here's the resto mod part. We're going to go ahead and paint the back end of the car a regular blue or a dark blue. Now we're going to get it with that dark blue like I was saying. Just keep moving as you're painting so you don't build it up too much because you don't want it to run. Look at how it fades from the dark blue to the light blue. And again, this is the resto mod part. It's kind of like maybe this is the way Hot Wheels should have painted their cars, huh? Man, that's looking nice. I love those Spectre Flame colors. And it's, it's up to you if you want to experiment with this stuff, folks. You know, do any combination of colors. Just give it a try. And here we have all of our parts. We got that dark blue to light blue fade. That ice blue is fantastic. That looks nice. The base is in good shape. We polished that up. There was a deep dish wheel on the back and I didn't catch it and I went ahead and switched it out so that's done now there's your interior with your little turbine now at the last minute I couldn't find the windshield that I polished fortunately I had a replacement one yeah it's from a US model but I replaced it if I get the other one or find the other one I'll switch it back here's the whipped creamer that we had the body is all got a bunch of flea bites on it the uh, glass was scratched, but we wound up replacing that anyways. The wheels we needed to replace, but um, it's a pretty wild car. You slide the glass back, and that's where the people would sit in the car. But uh, overall, I mean, it is a Hot Wheels, so we got to take care of the uh, cars that we have and preserve the past. But the car looks fantastic, and it definitely is... Uh, needs a restoration for sure but man it, it, it was a lot of fun I, and i really enjoyed uh mixing up the colors and stuff like that too this was a lot of fun sweet sweet car and this is what we got to we got that beautiful ice blue paint and faded it from the front to the dark blue in the back we got the new glass on there because Hey, I couldn't find the other one that I misplaced, but I will. It's got the interior all cleaned up and the turbine there. We got brand new wheels all the way around. They look fantastic. Man, what a lot of fun this car was. I really enjoyed it. Man, I'll tell you, and you can find these cars pretty reasonable on eBay. It's awful hard to find the, the Mustangs and the Camaros and all the other stuff that people really want. But these... Uh, a year or two older red lines they're still fairly affordable so 
definitely, if you get a chance, pick some of these up, clean them up, fix them up, paint them up, and add them to your collection. What a fantastic job. I really enjoyed this one. Now I've got a Patreon page. These nice folks, they contribute to me every month. And the donations that they make to me goes for me to buy my supplies to keep this channel going. Um, I can't thank these folks enough. And you too can become a member of my Patreon team. I'll leave a link in the comments section. But uh, yeah, please jo join up and uh, you'll get all kinds of uh, benefits that uh, the regular public doesn't get. So please check it out. This video was brought to you by the Redline Shop. The Redline Shop offers a complete line of decals, tools to take your car apart, put them back together, replacement hoods, replacement glass, those beautiful Redline tires, and of course, the world famous Spectre Flame paints. Fantastic products. The Redline Shop at www.redlineshop.com where Redlines come to life. I'd like to thank you for joining me today on Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. Please like, share, and subscribe to your friends that uh, do this hobby. And we've got a lot more videos coming up in the future. we got some build-offs coming up. Thanks again for joining me here today. This is Paul. You have a great day.